everyone, welcome to Hedgehog Hollow and welcome back to Infusible Ink Week. We've been having great fun with this new Cricut release. If you missed our previous videos, you can check them out in that top right hand corner. We have a playlist and we'll be adding all of this week's videos to them. So be sure to sign up for the playlist. And this is a really great product because it's rather than having HTV or vinyl uh, where you have that seam. So like here, you have my little pinny that I wear all the time. And I have this seam between uh, my apron and my hedgehog or my hedgehog hollow, uh, which can crack or peel over time, the infusible ink infuses into your base or your substrate. So this is the coaster that we made drawing with the pens we're gonna be using today in a previous video when I first got them on day one. And you can see there is nothing, it doesn't scrub, I can't scratch it off. Um, there is no way to get this ink off of this substrate now that it's in there. It's infused chemically into this base, so. Let's talk about the pens themselves. There are two different color sets available. So you have kind of your neons and you have your kind of more muted colors and each of the color schemes come in a 0.4, kind of a fine nib, and they come in the 1.0 medium nib. So they're your options, so there's four sets. These are the opposites down here. Uh, so you have four options available to you. Now, as always, everything will be linked in that video description for you. All the Cricut items I use, we'll add lots of links, we'll add all the Cricut items. Now the Cricut items are, with the infusible ink, are exclusive to Michaels for three months. And we are super excited that you can now shop via Michaels with your Hedgehog Hollow links. So as always, we do appreciate when you use those and we get a small commission when you shop through those and that helps us make videos like this to do the education to help you use the products that you buy. So they'll be in the description. With Michaels, you can shop online, pick up in store. It's a free service they do. So you can find out if your local store has it, reserve it, just go and pick it up or free shipping over $49. But everything I use in today's videos, I have purchased. Nothing was given to me by Cricut or Michaels or anyone. I've purchased it, I love it, and we've been having great fun with it. Now, if you're thinking about buying a Cricut, a Silhouette, a uh, Scan and Cut, we have lots of videos to help you. We've done uh, getting started with the Maker and the Cricut Explore Air 2 and doing those first cuts. We have uh, Cricut Explore versus the Cricut Maker. Which one should you buy? What's best for you? And we have the Maker versus the Scan and Cut versus the Silhouette. So all of those videos are available on the channel and are linked in the Cricut playlist too. So you can check all of those out. Now, let's choose a project to be doing today. So I did go in, I looked at some coasters. There is this Mandala coaster over here that you can see. Um, but what I wanted to show you is that you can take any coaster in the Cricut software and you can make it personalized. So what we're going to take is actually this Mandala coaster down here which is designed to be made with vinyl. So I'm gonna hit customize. This is a Cricut, I'm gonna replace, Cricut access item. And I want you to resize it first of all. So I'm gonna move it up here and we'll make this a bit smaller. It needs to be just under here, just like this. So my coaster is going to be one of these. I'm gonna put it on here just around the three and a half inches. So that's perfect. Okay, so this at the minute is a cut file, which I can change. So I can go into layers and I can click here where it shows cut. Instead, I'm gonna go right and I'm gonna go a black one medium tip. So that means it's now, instead of it's cutting, it's actually going to draw. And I can go with the one or I can go with the point four. Now this is quite a delicate design, so I really need to decide what I want to do. The easiest way to do that is to open up my packs of pens here. So just you just kind of flex the bottom. There is always a little thing in here that tells you to visit the website for full instructions. And you're gonna draw on regular printer paper. They say laser paper. I've just been using regular printer paper. I can link the one I use in the description. I have not had any issues just using regular printer paper. I've tested and tested and it has worked just fine for me. So again, I'm gonna grab another color. In fact, I'm gonna use a brighter color just so you can see the difference. So this is the one. So you can see it's a thicker line. This is the 0.4, so it's a much finer line. So I'm gonna go with my one. So I'm gonna tell it that that's what I'm doing. And now I'm gonna hit 
make it. So I'm replacing what was on my mat previously. I now have this little draw icon as opposed to a cut icon. I'm mirroring for iron on and I'm going to hit continue. So off we go. And now I need to decide what colour do I want to do it on. I think I am going to do it in that bright neon pink because if you know me you'll know I'm all about my pinks. We need to clear some space for my Cricut. We're of course doing it on paper. We're just doing it on copy paper so it knows everything. So you're going to take your pen, you're going to open up your pen slot here and then you're going to pop this in and wait for it to click and close it back up. That's literally all there is to it. It's a really, really simple process. Now I'm going to use my light grip map with coffee paper. I just find I have better success with that. That's what works for me. In the, in the app it's going to say the green mat. You can use the green mat. Um, just personally I like the light grip map. I find it gets less tearing. Whatever works for you best. But for me I like the light grip map with copy paper. Okay, tools. Load black pen in clamp A. Done. Uh, no tool required. Load mat etc etc. As always with Cricut, whatever you need to do next is what's flashing, so we're ready to go. And now we're going to let it draw, which is the fun part. So we're done, we get to see our reveal. And I'm also going to take my pen out and just replace the cap. So you just literally pull it out and replace your cap on. And we'll pull this off. I kind of wish I did it in the point four. Um, I lost some of the detail in some of the areas, but I still love this really pretty mandala design. As always, you want to put your piece down and pull your mat away. It reduces curling and it reduces any tearing. But you can see there, really pretty design that we've got on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a rough cut because if you do the infusible with the drawing it actually does the cut around the edge for you but we didn't do that we created our own design so it won't do that cut. Okay next thing we need to do I'm going to bring my iPad back in here and we're going to go back to the infusible ink page. If you go to infusibleink.com and then scroll down like this you'll see there's a heat guide and what you do is you select your heat transfer materials you've got the pen marker select a base which we have the ceramic coaster hit apply so it's going to tell me I want 400 degrees and I've already plugged my easy press in so I'm going to press my temperature I'm going to hold if I hold it it'll go up in 10 degree increments and 400 is the maximum for the easy press 2 which is why I have the 2 then I'm going to press my timer and come on timer. Again, I'm going to hold it because it will go up in five second increments. This one's 240 seconds. It does take a bit longer just with the ceramic coasters. The t-shirts are only about 40 seconds, they're super fast. But these ones um, take 240 because they've got to permeate the ceramic. Okay, so we're going to leave that to heat up whilst we get ready. No pressure, cold peel. So it tells us all the information we need. It also tells us our sandwich. So sandwich being easy press mat. So this is the small mat. Butcher paper. Design. And I'll centre everything up in a minute. Coaster. And then butcher paper again. So that's the way it's going to go. Now these pens are going to work on all the same substrates that the sheets work on. So that's the t-shirts, the um, coasters, the bodysuits for babies, the bags, all those things. And we are going to do a video later in the week as to any other substrates that we've experimented with that the uh, Cricut infusible ink items work on. Now I know Cricut obviously prefer you to use their substrates. They say you get the best results by using theirs, but we're going to experiment with some others too because we obviously don't want to be limited in our crafting. We like to try other things, so we're going to do that. So I'm just going to trim this down a little bit more. I also have the Cricut heat resistant tape right here, my cute little narwhal. And what I'm going to do is 
the first thing I like to do, and the reason you want to use this tape is if you used a scotch tape or something, it would just melt and it would ruin your design, is I'm going to hold down my design like this so it's not going to move around on me. So I'm just taking some of the tape and I'm just creating a little piece like this. Now the reason I'm not taping it anywhere else is if I put tape over this here and over my red, it wouldn't sublimate, it wouldn't transfer, infuse. Um, and the reason it wouldn't do that is because this is a heat resistant tape. So now I'm going to centre up my coaster as best as I can, just like this. That looks pretty good. I can see tips all the way around. Okay, now we're going to put our butcher's paper on top. Now we're going to take our Easy Press. So this is the mini size of Easy Press. I did do a video on what Easy Press sizes I recommend. You can again check that out in that top right hand corner, depending on your um, device. So I should mention also, just before I start, put your coaster down, shiny side down. So that's like the matte side up. Butcher paper again on top. Easy Press on top. And we're going to press our green start button. And now we're going to wait 240 seconds. So there we go. Let's lift off our easy press. And you may get some yellowing on your butcher paper. That's nothing to worry about. Now it is a cold peel, so one thing I like to do, I don't know about you, but I'm super impatient about these things, is I like to remove my Easy Press mat. This is designed to reflect heat, so it will take forever to cool down if you leave this underneath. Normally I actually have my glass mat underneath, that helps cool it even quicker, um, and of course it doesn't damage your craft surface in any way, but I like to throw that. I have a concrete floor below me, so it's super simple to just throw that down. I'm going to peel this one off, and... Now we wait just a few minutes for it to cool down. Um, this process really is super quick. Now you think we haven't actually been going very long. We put it in the Cricut, the Cricut draws it for us. We allow the Easy Press to then just iron it on. We wait for it to cool down and then we're gonna wait for it to cool and we have a completely custom coaster. So I'll be right back. So we're done and we get to see the best bit. Now in reality that was probably about five minutes that we had to leave it for. If you have the glass mat you can of course put it on there, it will uh, cool off quicker or if you're super impatient you can kind of use the butcher paper and tip it over because I've definitely been known to do that one. But let's open it up and see what we've got. So here is our finished design, isn't that gorgeous? So you can see how that's infused. That was the before, it really does change colour too. So this is far more like the colour that we had on our pen. If I grab my pen back out, wherever it's gone here. So this is far more like the pen colour as opposed to how it actually looks when you have it on the paper. So remember it does go through a colour transformation process just like it does when you have the transfer sheets. So you can see it's you know, it's far more like that than it comes out. So expect it to be far more vibrant once you've gone through the infusion process. So I hope I've answered your uh, questions on infusible ink pens. Actually, we still have more videos to come for you. We'll be talking about other substrates that you can use. We were talking about my top tips for double-sided t-shirts because I made some mistakes. I'm gonna share those with you so you don't make the same ones. And as always, if you have any requests for videos, questions, comments, leave them in the description below. I'd also love to know if you are crafting along with us for Infusible Ink Week. And as always, um, links in the video description below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. And of course, hit the join button to be part of the Hedgehog Hollow community. Lots and lots of reasons to join, savings, birthday cards, all of those fun things. And of course, you get to chat with your fellow hollowers. And I will see you again tomorrow. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It really does help us. And we'd love to know what you think of the video too. I'll see you tomorrow. In the meantime, happy crafting and have a great day. Bye.